Remember, guys, I haven't pressed play yet. Can we collectively just come together and tell women that we don't care about boob size? Because most of us really don't. And fake boobs look ridiculous. Now, don't get it twisted. She has a fantastic job going on here, but you can tell due to her, the way her body's proportion that they are fake as all hell, man. <laughs> but either ways, let's press play and see what uh see what she has for us today. Is that the airport? Want to catch a flight with my baby? My little baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, right, babe. So I have just landed and I'm so pissed off, but I'm trying not to let it ruin my day. Literally was almost escorted off the airline because of my outfit, which really pissed me off. Yeah, yeah, I can see that being the case. I can see parents being like, yeah, that's a little obscene for the plane. Maybe you want, might want to put a sweater on or something. But no, no, no. She paid good money for those puppies. Me off because I had a connecting flight. Nobody said anything in the first flight. Because I spend so much money and take so many flights. So it's really disappointing. No, they didn't say anything to you because you're a hot chick. I mean, mo like if I see her walking on a plane, I'm not going to say anything. But I can understand a parent or, you know, a father to some girls being like, hey, can you put them away? I don't want my daughters thinking that it's okay to walk around like this. But, you know, I mean, to each their own. And one of the things that you, like, I like to think that adults would recognize is not everybody has the same sensibilities as you so it really shouldn't be that big of a deal but here we are with a whole new york post article when you're like discriminated against that's the funniest shit that's the funniest shit in the world you wear a, a an insanely revealing top let's take a good look at him again all right because like oh i mean she's not unattractive i mean if she was unattractive i probably wouldn't be doing I wouldn't be doing this video, but, but sweetheart, like this isn't discrimination. This is decency. And unfortunately we live in a world where that is few and far between. So we've heard her. Let's read the article a little bit and get into it. All right. <clears throat> From the New York post playboy model traveling with son humiliated for revealing top on South white on Southwest flight. Oh no. By Yaren Steinbuck. Like, she's fine, but Jesus Christ, like, fine, but it's just, they, they, ain't, she doesn't, it doesn't click in her mind because as a society and culturally, we've allowed this nonsense to go on for just like way too long, giving into her whims. Oh no, sweetie, that's fine. That's okay. Without zero repercussion, which is why she can now talk about how she's being discriminated against. Oh, a Playboy model traveling with her seven-year-old son said she was humiliated and embarrassed by a Southwest Airlines flight attendant who told her she couldn't fly while wearing her low-cut leopard print top, according to a report. We are... Hold on. Low-cut... It might as well not even be there, sweetie. <laughs> let, let, let's... let's it, like, a low-cut leopard print top. Okay, that's not a top. That's an entire outfit. I mean, I'm pretty sure that there's a, like, there's some connecting, like, the pants connect. Like, this is an entire outfit, so it's not a top. This is where you the New York Post um, article is really jacking it up at, as well as, it's, like, low cut. There's, like, no cut. <laughs> like, it's all, it's all titty meat. Jesus. But no, 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 she's being discriminated against. Jesus Christ, lady. Eve J. Marie, 26, who was headed from Dallas to Tulsa on Thursday, told Jam Press that the, new, that the crew member told her she'd have to change out of the revealing outfit because it violated the airline's dress code. Which, yeah, I mean, I can see the airline saying, hey, this, this is a family-friendly type flight movement, so we do want people dressed to a certain um, standard. When they threatened to remove me off the plane, if I didn't have a change of clothes, I felt completely humiliated, embarrassed, and highly offended. The buxom, the fake buxom Instagram influencer, oh Christ, told the outfit, told the outlet. <laughs> How do you think this, like honestly, he, the, the little man seems like young at this point, to whereas it's not, it's not particularly registering yet. But he's going to get older and he's going to be like, yo, well, actually, he's growing up around this. So he just thinks this is natural. When in reality, no, in, in a lot of ways, you could, and, and from a very specific angle, you could look at this as child abuse. I'm an A-list member for SWA and, and have a credit card with airline. And I have perks that allow any person traveling with me to fly free because of my high status with the airline. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, seriously, if I want, I can have, um, what's the name? I can have, um. 
season tickets to the Jets. And But if I walk in there with my testicles hanging out, I should expect somebody to have something to say to me. So even as being a loyal customer with them, I felt like the other women on the plane were judging me based on my attire. And they were saying my breasts are too large and fake. She added, well, there's that's something I can't help. I don't think, though, you know, they may be natural. They may be natural. I sincerely doubt it. And thusly, it was a, the same way chicks can't help who their baby father is, right? <laughs> Come on, yo. Marie said she'd been able to abort an earlier flight without any problems at all. When an African-American attendant... Oh, crap. When an African-American attendant called me over and told me they had called somebody to inform me of needing of needing to change my clothes to be removed, I was so surprised. The attendant herself apologized. This flight was my layover, and the first flight said nothing. So it, so if this was truly the policy, then why was I not informed even b- before, even, before I even boarded the first flight? Because it, 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 different people have different, it's like with the police, right? People, different people have different reactions to things. So, like me personally, I don't want to say anything. I mean, I'm like, yo, mm, nice titties, nice, sweet. But another chick, will, uh, but I'm pretty sure, and a, a woman would probably have a different response. Like, yo, why is all this titty meat out? I'm flying with my children, you know? <laughs> There's uh, just more photos of her. I was scared that they would have left me stranded in Dallas when I was headed to Tulsa. Not if you just put on a damn shirt, she added. At least return me back to the airport I departed from on on, on the beginning, Florida, instead of just putting on a damn shirt. Jeez, this is so stupid. <laughs> we, like, honestly, after the past couple of days, we, we need this type of laugh. The flight attendant eventually gave Marie her uniform sweater to wear during the flight, according to Jam Press. In the end, I was forced to sit on a plane in front of all the other passengers with her work sweater across my chest, said Marie, who complained that no one gave her a straight answer about the dress code. She said that Southwest has offered her $100 as con- Oh, my Christ, because, yeah, they're going to sit there. Oh, women live on, on, on recruit difficulty. Like Birdman likes to say, women just born on recruit difficulty. They gave her a hundred dollars of compensation, but that, but that it wasn't enough to make up for the humiliation. Oh, oh my gosh. Is, is she going to sue? Is she going to sue them? <laughs> oh, repeal the 19th. I was completely upset and embarrassed. Wait, what the heck? Oh, Christ. I was completely upset and embarrassed at how I was treated, Marie said. The SWA policy on clothing says nothing about dress clothes except elude, in which I was not that bullshit. Oh, dude. Yes, that is lewd, sweetie. All, all that titty me out is lewd. What is, you know, male mind, logical, logical. Just, just go, like, remember, guys, I, I think logic. She thinks emotions, so she doesn't feel as if how she dressed was lewd. It's lewd, sweetie. She added, I would like better diversification training, oh Christ, and a clear and fair dress code policy that is the same across all SWA flights, a public apology, and those responsible held accountable. (laughs) Yo, she's acting like she was just like, yo, she was just strung up. Like she got castrated or something. Like she was Django once once he got caught and hung upside down, um, and got hung upside down. Like, yo, you they you just had to put on a, a lady's work sweater because yes, you were dressed lewd. The incident was similar to one from October when a Southwest captain gave his a t-shirt to a woman whose breasts were deemed lewd, obscene, and offensive. The post has reached out to Southwest comment but about the latest incident. According to the material posted online, the airline may, in its sole discretion, refuse to transport or may remove from an aircraft at any point a passenger who engages in lewd, obscene, or patently, beha- uh, patently offensive behavior, including wearing clothing clothes that are lewd, obscene, or patently offensive. Let's, let's go back to the videotape. Cause this isn't even like the, the, the one Marie chick situation where, you know, it it was just her shoulders. It was more the leather of the situation that made it, you know, like more of a club dress as opposed to this, where it's like, sweetie, this is lewd. This is obscene. All right. And trust me, like I said, if I were the first flight attendant and and I'm I'm a dude, I'm sitting there looking at that, like, yo, 
we can get mesmerized by some titty meat, can't we? So we'd be just like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever you want, baby girl. It's, it's all good. But if somebody comes to another to to a flight attendant and says something, then yeah, they're gonna say something to you. But her, she is just the world's greatest victim. Oh my goodness. I mean, possibly the world's hottest victim. Eh, nah, there's hotter. Karuchi Chan, Karuchi Tran is hotter. She actually Karuchi Tran is why I think she, why I think she has a, um, she has a boob job because of her frame. Her frame just doesn't seem like it'd be the type to produce memories that massive. But hey, who knows? With that being said, guys, we're gonna bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it, like this, like go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice. You wanna get videos like this every single day? Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch you don't like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Patreon as well and links in the description links in the description and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments i can guarantee you that if i took hold on let's go back if i took this image and put it as the thumbnail for this video if it's not naturally selected as the thumbnail if i took this image and put it as the image for the video youtube would take it down because they've done that before like when it's just massive mammary meat hanging out of a chick's chest because like, i've done that on a couple of um <clears throat> on a couple of videos and they will remove that thumbnail like oh this thumbnail is offensive sweetie just just go about your life go it's all good you're hot enjoy being hot you you don't need to be hot and a victim too right <laughs> but you may disagree that's what my comment section's for until the next one